Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to DIY Tools Review. Uh, I wanted to give you a quick review of some of the organizational ideas that I've got uh, for organizing your garage. And even though my garage is a little messy today, it's kind of set up to show you some of the stuff. Anyway, um, first thing is the one that you kind of know about, right? Just nice garage cabinets. You know, you can get uh, local installer to install these types of things for you. I'd recommend that because uh, they're... To get it right, it's uh, it's actually kind of tricky, uh, and those guys kind of have some experience with like French cleats and stuff like that. That, and they can do it all in a day. Uh, if you can't afford to, you can do it yourself. But I found that pricing it out compared to doing it myself, it really was not much of a difference to have them do it. Um, and uh, these are actually older cabinets. Um, uh, and then you know you kind of have this you know this type of uh, shelf that you can obviously go out and buy. Uh, lots of different uh, types of things for organizing, uh, you know, stick figure things like brooms and mops. And this is one of my favorites. It's this uh, ball joint, well, I don't know what you call this, but uh, essentially it's got a little rubber grip and you throw that on and you're done. Um, so that that's kind of helped me organize things quite well. Uh, and then over here above my sink, um, I've got these, uh, I, I noticed that, you know, uh, all kinds of stuff was piling up along the ledge of the sink, which I didn't like. So I ordered these couple of these shelves and a t paper towel holder, um, only because the paper towel holder used to just kind of be on the edge of the sink or someplace around here. Everything was just kind of all over the place. And this really helped organize kind of the sink area. And uh, let's see, let's move over to, um, the rest of the shop here. All right, so nothing kind of beats like a uh, personalized storage, right? So this is something I built for myself uh, and I can um, send you plans if anybody's interested. Uh, but one of my favorite parts of it is um, this little shelf that allows me to hang my saw. Uh, and as you know, a circular saw is one of the unruliest things to organize, which kind of sucks. Uh, so. This has come as close as I can to organizing it. I also really like these battery holder um, thingamabobs. So you basically can put those on and they click on nice and tight. Um, and I've got, I've got a bunch of batteries and I should have probably organized this place a little bit before I um, put my uh, camera on. But yeah, I, I knew the tools that I wanted to organize, and this was kind of uh, uh, what I came up with. And you got to come up with your own. So these are some of the tools I don't use as often. So I got my uh, Sawzall or reciprocating saw or whatever, and then I have my utility saw, which I actually use quite often, but not as often as some of this other stuff. And uh, I was able to come up with this design for my needs. Now, obviously this isn't gonna fit everybody's needs, but it worked out for me. Down here, I used some PVCs uh, to uh, essentially um, create some power tool holders. And, you know, some of you have many more power tools than I do, I only have the two. Uh, I would like to actually have three, and I, I thought of a reason to have three recently. Um, so yeah, uh, and then I've got this, this little area here for my, um, uh, right angle, um, braces for, for, that come with clamps. I bought those actually from, um, uh, Amazon, I think. And then some of my clamps, they get organized that way. I got an, another closet filled with clamps, uh, but these are the ones I use kind of most often. These are actually Harbor Freight ones and they're, they're quite good for how much they cost. They're, they're really cheap and Harbor Freight lets you replace these for free anytime they go bad. So no risk in buying those. And then on top, I have my battery storage and my Amazon Echo that's sitting up there uh, that provides me plenty of music for, um, for the, uh, well, my work time. Um, down here, uh, I've got your kind of standard cubby uh, organizer. I, I put things like wing nuts and things like that in there. Um, uh, pretty easy to do uh, and easy to find. I do recommend mounting it to a wall. Uh, this wasn't mounted to a wall until recently and it's actually made it a lot easier to use. 
uh, and it, it used to always get in the way. So that's just the other pointer, right? It's like you could have all this organizational tools, but if you don't mount them and put them in the right places, then they're not going to be all that great. Um, and then if you've got a TV in your workspace, I highly recommend getting a nice mount and mounting it because this has made all the difference. It's nice and out of the way. You don't want to set it on something. Anyway, so that's that. Then we come up to here. So we've got your, uh, your, uh, either your uh, slat wall or your wall holding storage or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'll put a link to this one in the description. It's not my favorite one, but it's pretty good. It comes with... Uh, comes with these types of connectors. They're proprietary to this design and it, they do hold a lot of weight, which is, I think is kind of unnecessary. You're never going to hold more than a few pounds on any of these things, I don't think. But um, what I don't like about them is if you put other kinds of hooks, which is, you know, stuff I had from before uh, on here. Th this is what I had from my old... Uh, um, pegboard so if i put if you use these it doesn't hold these very very well so you kind of want to find one maybe that's more universal what i did like about this is that it's um you know it's like a it's it's metal and i i kind of like the look of it and it does work pretty well it, it comes with the shelves and a lot of the hooks and stuff like that i'm sure you can buy a bunch more accessories for it so that's been nice. And I also have a paper towel holder that doesn't really fit this thing as well as it should, but it's just nice to have it around rather than having a roll of paper towel sitting on your workbench, which brings me to my workbench. Now, here's the workbench. I built this uh, uh, last year. Uh, I find every few years you're probably going to end up rebuilding your workbench if you work on it um, any amount of time. And uh, what, I, what I ended up doing is I put that shelf in the center and then I was ripping apart an old vanity and it had all this crate uh, drawers with all these nice box joints in there. Um, so I was like, um, that's pretty cool. Why don't I use these as storage underneath my bench? And I actually really like the fact that they're not on hinges or whatever because I can just take them out. And I like this is where I keep some spare screws and things like that and um, just put them back. Boom. Uh, and uh, so if, you, if you're t ripping apart an old vanity set, or maybe there's somebody in your neighborhood doing that, go and ask them if you can have the drawers, take the faces off, and you got all these really nicely made boxes. I mean, they're really nicely made boxes, you know. Um, this was a this was an especially well made one, so and it came with with a ton of these things. A couple of those boxes I actually made. I'm sorry, this one I I made myself. These four back here, um, but these are all from the drawers that came out of that vanity. And then I took one of them and I put some uh, pieces of board uh, to divide it up for my sandpaper and things like that. Um, and then I took another. Uh, set of drawers that I was building for a different purpose, but I ended up scrapping the idea and not using those drawers for that uh, specific vanity. So I kept the boxes though, and I keep them underneath my miter saw. This is a really great place to have some storage because I've got a lot of good scraps of wood. And if you're, if you're doing any sort of woodworking, uh, you'll realize that, you know, in no time that even the smallest scrap will have a great use later on. Uh, and um, like I got some beautiful pieces of oak handrail here. I'm not gonna throw this out. Um, this is gorgeous piece of wood. I don't wanna throw it out and there's really not a great place to keep it. So under the miter saw is actually a really great place for it because when I need it, it'll be right there. Now I built my own little wood storage rack, which I can show you here. I, I uh, uh, found I, oh, I got the inspiration for this from Rachel what's her name's channel I can post a video I guess if you guys want but I ended up changing it quite a bit so the back of it is a, a few different shelves with a bunch of storage and you can see I'm actually even using that space and this space separately uh, looks pretty disorganized but it's actually pretty organized for my for my use uh, I got my larger boards here my long pieces up top and then shorter scraps and pieces of wood around here on this side, there we are. 
Um, so these are these are the longer scrap pieces, and I end up using these for all kinds of stuff. So like you know, if I just need a piece of sacrificial board, or or maybe I'm actually there's some nice pieces of wood in there, and I'm just building a jig or whatever I'm doing, like you know something like a crosscut sled, or maybe even a straight edge uh, jig. Um, it's perfect to use uh, for jig building and things like that. And then one of the final things is this type of aura head storage. You can find these everywhere. I actually had a local guy, uh, this guy, come and install this one for me. Um, pretty good deal. This one has like a thousand pound capacity so I can get up there myself and, and jump up and down and nothing will come down. And then what I ended up doing is I bought a couple of these hooks from him. Um, that allowed me to hang all the bikes underneath. And also, I just went ahead and put these LED lights under it because it looks super cool uh, when it's dark. In fact, I'll show you what this place looks like uh, when it's dark. Actually, while I do that, I can show you this other cool storage idea I had. If you've got a door like this in your garage, the space behind it is very likely being going to waste. So, what you can do is you can build a very thin, tall shelf like I have here and just measure it for your use. Count your cans and bottles and things like that. Don't do the mistake I made. I left very little room above here. So I kind of have to like grab the bottles from up front. It would probably be nicer to be able to grab them from the top. Although I don't mind this because it's really hard for these to just fall out by accident. So I've, I've grown to like this, but initially I thought maybe that would have been better. And I would have probably left myself a few, maybe one more very tall shelf instead of all of these short ones because I ended up having a lot more tall, taller bottles. So even though I planned it, I thought I had well ahead of time, uh, apparently not well enough. Um, some more of those, um, some more of those boxes for underneath my router table. I actually find that very useful. The other thing I really like is these magnetic dishes. So if you've got a router table or even maybe a drill press or whatever, it's really nice to have these magnetic dishes um, to uh, keep track of uh, um, all the loose parts that you really need for your router uh, that you may lose. This is my, my half inch um, call it or collar or whatever you call that. Um, <laughs> I have the quarter inch installed right now. So I don't want to lose this guy because God forbid I lose it. I'll probably never find another one. Um, wall hanging ladder storage. You've seen these before. There's tons of different kinds. And then uh, the other thing I did is I was removing a, this cabinet from the house, uh, from the laundry room, because we, we had enough cabinets in there and my New washer dryer was a little too tall, so I decided to just get rid of the cabinet. And I was gonna just throw it out, but then I was like, wait a minute, what am I doing throwing it out? I'll just install it in the garage. It's a good looking cabinet, you know, and it's totally useful. And I can never have too much storage in the garage. So uh, I just put a bunch of random stuff in here, uh, like batteries and camera parts and stuff like that. So I guess the point there is if you've got a, um, cabinet that you're throwing away, consider maybe just moving into the garage. You can always look on Craigslist too. People are throwing away cabinets all over the place. Um, let's see, another storage idea is for your odd shaped drill bits. These are some cheapo drill bits that I use uh, a lot. And uh, I just built this little little uh, storage for them recently. Nothing too crazy. It actually took a long time to do it because uh, figuring out how to do the holes correctly and things like that was a pain in the neck. But there's tons of plans for stuff like this on YouTube. I encourage you to actually work with an existing plan rather than come up with something new. But anyway, I was gonna show you those lights. Um, so the garage door is still open, but you can kind of see uh, how those stand out. And then I also put those same lights underneath my workbench table, which I really, really love because what was happening before is these areas were like super dark and I wasn't able to see anything, but if you just put a, some strips of LED underneath your, your table, they don't have to be organized. As you see, these aren't. Um, it really lights up your uh, workspace or you know your storage space. I got plenty of light in the garage otherwise, so um, uh, I, you know, I don't have any need for any other solar lighting, but yeah. 
Anyway, that's uh, some of the stuff. The, the rest of it is, is more in the lines of these canvas bags that I really like. So, uh, for example, uh, my recently purchased Craig track horse, which I absolutely love, by the way, uh, it came with all of these parts that, um, you know, could potentially get lost. There's these flanges. There are these like bushings uh, and I don't want to lose these and I do want to carry them around wherever I take the track horse. Uh, so I figured why not put them in one of these canvas bags that have zippers and it also has a little carabiner clip or whatever uh, attached, which is super nice because I can just clip it right onto my track horse when I fold it up and carry it around. So that's one use for these things for accessories for something you already have so that you don't lose it. Um, and other uses for, you know, like a lot of you guys have a, um, you know, a, a little tool bag like this one uh, that you carry around and it's great. I have that for when I have to leave the house or maybe go on the other side of the house or into the attic and do something. I'll just pack it with a bunch of tools. And I'll go up there. But what's what sucks is I want to take some some screws and some wing nuts and whatever, and I don't want to just throw those in my bag because it's going to create a mess. So I'll just take a few of each, throw them in here, and then when I'm when I'm up there, I can I can have them. They also come in these nice clear kinds. So um, I actually just got these, uh, and I use these in the office, and I also use them in the garage, and we actually also use them in the kitchen for like loose parts to make sure that we stay organized. Um, Anyway, um, that's kind of the basics of my organization ideas. Uh, I've been working on organizing this garage for a few months now. It's finally um, pretty organized. Uh, the kids were just doing some artwork over there. So, um, and I just did some unpacking, but uh, otherwise it, it stays pretty, pretty well organized. These cabinets are my next, um, are my next uh, project. You know, the inside of them is not very organized. They just have shelves. And my idea, especially for our emergency food supply cabinet, which is emergency junk food supply cabinet, tons of cans down there and stuff like that. I want to I want to build some sort of can storage that where you can put the new cans in and it's a first in first out kind of a you know, they just slide in and they have a return. They sell a bunch of that stuff on Amazon, but honestly, not only are they kind of overpriced, they're like 50 bucks each, but they wouldn't fit my space perfectly. If they fit my space perfectly, maybe I'd be willing to pay for it, but I could build something pretty easily myself. So stuff like that, you could build yourself over time um, if you've got some tools and some skills and it's, and it's a really great thing to build your skills with is interior storage because not a lot of people are going to see it you can build it out of cheap plywood or mdf um, and it's a good way to hone your skills plus you get something out of it and every few years you can redo it if you want to when you when your skills are built up uh, my skills are still pretty uh intermediate i would say so i'm, I'm able to build stuff by myself but uh it's a um you know it it, it it's not like um, furniture grade or anything like that. So I'm going to build some interior storage for this cabinet and maybe some interior storage for our cleaning supplies, uh, which is kind of disorganized. It's not too bad. It's a bit of a disaster only because it's kind of hard to find stuff, but I feel like I can really organize it if I add some um, like cubbies and shelves into it. Uh, again, this is, it's a slow process. I'm not planning to do this all overnight, but you get the idea. Even with, even with cabinets, you can become somewhat disorganized. Um, and then if you're, if you're looking to build cabinets and storage for yourself, one of the tools you're going to want, and again, I've kind of like over-organized the space a little bit, so I have to move some stuff to show you, uh, is this Craig... Um, pocket hole jig. This is the K5 jig and it's helped me build most of the stuff that you see in this garage. So it's helped me build that, it's helped me build this, it's helped me build those boxes, well those boxes. Um, it's probably helped me with parts of that and it's definitely gonna, when it's helped me with this 
this cabinet that's on wheels that I wheel around. Um, that has my, my sanders and stuff like that in there so I can wheel it around. Um, anyway, uh, I find if you haven't worked with pocket holes, uh, <laughs> they're pretty amazing how fast and how neat you can create some, something without knowing any other joinery techniques. And, you know, my whole thing is I just want to build stuff. I don't care if it looks awesome because I'm not there yet. Um, and once I get there, I'm sure I'll care more about it. But I'll put a link to this K5 jig uh, there too. That can really help you build some stuff that can help you with organization. In fact, this entire shelf here uh, that I showed you was built entirely with pocket holes. Pocket holes. And you might ask, why did you put the pocket holes facing up? That's a dumb thing to have done. Well, here's the thing. Pocket holes... Uh, the way it's mounted right now, those screws are going in this way. So it's going to support the most weight on this side, not on that side. That was my thought. I'm sure it wouldn't have made a difference. But, you know, over time, these shelves are not going to bow as much as they would if I had them the other way. I did a lot of research into that. And I, it is true what I'm saying, <laughs> because that's what the research I did said. But it is uh, also a very minor difference. And uh, I don't really care because this is always hidden, either hidden behind an open door or here in the corner. And it's always covered with things like paint cans. It's not an aesthetic issue uh, as much as it is an organizational issue. And if I really, really cared, I could fill these in with little dowels that they sell and sell and just glue them in and sand them. And it would be like this perfect shelf. The only disadvantage right now is that that can collect dust and become messy over time. So I might do that over time. Um, but yeah, I, I highly recommend building something like this. And then I, I just put a rubber strap um, that came with these bungees that I bought. And uh, I put uh, one of the bungee straps across here so those bottles will never fall, which was very unlikely to happen anyway. Um, let's see, what else? Man, maybe I should show you the attic sometime. It is super organized up there. Uh, and I, if you have an attic where you're throwing stuff up there, I highly recommend you stop. I highly recommend you get it all down, really go through it, then get back up there and come back down and like really plan out your space, right? Because if you've got a disorganized attic, it's just going to be a disorganized attic for life. And it's just going to weigh you down. Honestly, when you need stuff out of there, it'll be really impossible to get to it. Uh, don't really feel like giving you a peek right now. Uh, anyway, it's a bunch of stuff, but it's very easily accessible, well lit and nice and clean. Uh, it took me a long time to do that. So if you do have a good attic space, I recommend you use it correctly. Don't just throw stuff in there. Uh, I did that for a long time. Oh, one last thing. I just got these straps. These straps, and I intend to use them to hang uh, my extension cords. I've got not as many extension cords as some, but probably more than most. I've got these four uh, 50 and 25 foot extension cords that I use all the time. And one thing I notice is they get tangled up pretty easily and these straps are really helping uh, you know, um, keep them kind of nice in a, in a nice loop. So I, I really like these. I'll post a link to these too. These were super cheap and re really nice. Lemdo, Lemdo straps. And you don't have to use them for just, uh, you know, this sort of thing. You can use them for your power tools even or whatever it is that you want to, to hang from a wall. Uh, for right now, I'm, a, I'm just storing it on the shelf here. Um, uh, anyway, I'm, I think I'm about... 75% through my journey of organizing this garage. Uh, so I thought this was a good time to kind of show you how far I've gotten. If you have any comments, questions, I'd love to hear from them. Uh, don't forget to click that subscribe button. And uh, I got all the product links in the, in the description here. Buying them from there helps me out a little bit. Uh, but uh, I fully appreciate if you do or if you don't. Um, so uh, have a great day and uh, see you soon.